Hello and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, well, we're talking about cash use in Australia. So, in all due course, we are just going to have a brief look at this Royal Reserve Bank of Australia publication issued June 2023. And if you're inclined, you can actually look this up yourself called cash use and attitudes in australia so that's what you need to look up so we're not actually going to go through the whole survey we're just going to look at the graphs i like graphs i don't like reading too much unless it's about geology uh, then yeah read all i can so this was a survey of a thousand individuals okay thirteen thousand transactions 9,000 of which were made in person, so in shop. Uh, so that means the remainder, 4,000, were online, so they're cards, so they're taken out. They're not included here. So we're talking about 9,000 transactions. So if we look at the cash payments, uh, you can see up the top, okay, Okay, Australians have their share of cash payments by number from 32 to 16%. And you can see this in the actual graph. So this is what I like. I like these graphs. They actually look nice. But this one by value, uh, it has 20%. So yeah, I'm not too sure about this part side of the graph. It doesn't make sense because you've got the date and you've got the percentage. Uh, so I would assume is that, I don't know, but we'll look at the left side of the graph. So you got by number in person. So in 2007, uh, cash payments were about 70% of all payments in person, so in a shop. And as you can see, there is a steady decline. And it does say that COVID between 2019 and 22 had an effect, but obviously its effect was only a little bit in the 2022 section in which the uh, decline seems to be a, a little bit bigger. It's about half instead of about a quarter of that we see in the previous years. So... Or even there, seven, and this is probably five years later, or yeah, whatever, three years later, so 10, 2010, and it's probably only about, I don't know, one eighth of a decline, and here there is a half of decline. So this is about, say, it was a 16%, yeah. So it went from 32 to 16%. So that's a half a decline. So obviously cash payments uh, are definitely declining, even with our increase in population. So we're talking probably about 20 million here. Uh, here we're talking about 25 million people. Okay, cash payments by size. So as you can see, they have one to ten dollar eleven to twenty twenty one to fifty fifty one to a hundred and over a hundred dollars and obviously uh, cash payments as you go up is lower for the high payment values than it is for the low payment values but that seems to be uh, sort of uh, becoming uh, I would say in the future, probably pretty much a straight line. So in the 1 to 10, so 2007, made up nearly all in cash. And in 2022, which is the pink, it's only about 25% of all payments between $1 and $10 was in cash. So I mean 75% is card. And the banks are loving it because they get to uh, pretty much charge fees on that. So that's, and if we have the over a hundred dollars, well, that's under forty percent in 
well, 20, 15 years ago, really. And today it is about just under 10%, probably 9% that says there. So as you can see, this is definitely an indication, well, pretty good indication of a declining cash. And well, will it affect uh, coin and banknote collecting? Well, as we've seen, there has been a decline in the actual use of cash, but in the pandemic, coin collecting actually increased and it did increase the price of coins and banknotes. But now the interest rates are going up, we can see that's probably going to have effect in dampening effect in that it's probably going to reduce the price of coins and banknotes. So really, if you purchase stuff during the pandemic, uh, you're probably not going to make that money back except for a few items uh, that maybe i'll do videos on them later okay you've got cash payments by transaction size and you can see the line 2007 okay so this is zero and uh quite frankly this is zero dollars so these lines should actually go up to 100 percent, or maybe just go down to zero because you know you're going to pay anything with cash for no dollars? No. You're going to pay it for card? No dollars? No. So, as you can see, the lowest point that we had was it's probably what, 80, $85, something like that. And we have the lowest point, which is similar. Uh, but you have to remember inflation as well. So, it would have could have increased the same price. Uh, to this point here, but it'll probably be over a hundred dollars by now uh, instead of eighty five dollars so as you can see twenty twenty two a lot of transactions are really under twenty percent so this uh this is just really sad and here we have cash payments by sector so food and retails declined a lot all of it's just declined everything's just declined. By purpose, bills, petrol, transport. Uh, yeah, transport because they do have the uh, inventory, they have the Mikey card. Uh, I assume a lot of tra other transport companies around the Australia also use cards. Uh, they also do it in Japan and Thailand and Hong Kong as well. So, yeah, I'm not surprised. And you can pay a lot of things by card. On the internet so your bills just go to the website and pay or even just be pay get it deducted or you can go to the post office and so as you can see everything just indicates that cash is pretty much going out okay cash by use intensity so high cash users uh, so they're the people that probably use uh, majority of the transactions okay Low cash users using cash for twenty percent or less, and compared to fifty percent in two thousand nineteen, high cash users for eighty percent of their transactions, and the intermediates probably about fifty percent. So these ones twenty percent, eighty percent, about fifty percent. So that's what those represent. So low cash users has pretty much overtaken uh high and intermediate were the dominant ones so you know 80 plus 50 if you include those it's probably about 65 percent in those two and as you can see uh, high cash users went from about 45 percent down to about seven or eight percent and low cash users went from about eight percent up to what's that 75 percent so they're the dominant and a lot of those would be younger people so you have to remember a lot of the high cash users would have been elderly people who are not used to the internet or cards and a lot of those have either passed away or they've transitioned and learned how to use uh, the payments on the internet and a card as well so 
and then you got a lot of younger people who've just grown up using payment in the internet. So, uh, so someone born in 2010, well, they're only, what, 13 now? But they would have actually grown up on the internet, so they would have no problem with the actual cash. And uh, the demographic, okay. So we have, okay, 65 plus in pink. And the younger ones are oh, 18 to 29. And as you can see, the greatest decrease has been 18 to 29 users who, who definitely have used. So they went from about, oh, what's that? 45% of users down to, what's that, 5, 8% of users. The same with the 30 and 39. 40 and 49 as well so i'm in that age group too so as you can see the the higher cash users are older people household income so high income people generally use cash less low income people use cash a lot more and location obviously in the city they use cash less countryside they use cash more a lot more smaller businesses are probably rely on cash. Okay, cash user groups by age. So here's the demographic. So obviously low cash uh, users make up at least half of the majority. So all majority of young people are low cash users. Only about half of all the people over 65 are, are low cash users. They make up the majority of high cash users. So when they go, because these people already use less cash, it's just going to decrease the demand for cash uh, markedly. So that doesn't look good for the actual production of coins and banknotes. Okay, by income, obviously, as you can see, people on lower incomes use cash a lot more. People on high incomes use cash a lot less, and by region as well. So they look pretty similar to most country and city people. Use cash, well, a lot less. So, okay, attitudes towards cash. Okay, share of respondents by cash use intensity. Effects of no cash. Consistent survey indicates that Australians would be negatively affected if cash was difficult to access or shop stopped accepting it as a pay method of payment. Overall, just over a quarter of respondents, regardless of how intensive they used cash, reported that they would experience a major inconvenience or general hardship if cash was hard to access or use. So basically, you know, if there's like an event like a down in the computer system, if there's a flood, if there is a fire, uh, obviously in those time periods you need cash. And just some places they go to. So people who use cards are not going to just use cards all the time. There's some factor or some place they go to in which they have to use cash. Okay, so only a majority of people, a minority should I say, don't know if they had no cash what will happen. Okay, major inconvenience, so low, intermediate, high, or respondents. So that means about 50%. People think it will be a high uh, hardship. So, no problem, major inconvenience. So the graph, okay, this is a bit confusing. So this graph should be, you look at it and you should understand, but this doesn't make two sense. Okay, okay, I think I got it. So this is a low cash users. This is a high cash users. This is intermediate. So, 
majority of high cash users think it's going to be an inconvenience about cash. And a minority of high cash, low cash users don't see a major inconvenience. So 80% think it's fine if they have no cash. And that's compared to about 38% of high cash users think there won't be inconvenience. So yeah, it get, gets a bit to get your head around that. Ah, okay, so why do you need cash? So this is what they use it on. So budgeting, yeah, it's good for the cash, but you can just do a, a Excel spreadsheet for that. Cash payments to friends and family, poor internet access. Yeah, that's an, obviously it's not a major factor. Uh, I don't trust banks. Yeah, majority, minority of people do. Disability, get paid in cash. Virtually no one gets paid in cash these days. Uh, so as you can see, you got 2019 and 2022. Okay, if this is Privacy, security concerns. So that's probably online theft. Okay, so obviously the internet fraud has just taken off, especially in this year. There's just so many texts and emails that you get saying this and that, you pay money and oh, you want to slow. Actually, the Nigerian scam seems to have died off. So anyway, so that's gone from about uh, 12, 24, 23% to about 35%. So, and that's probably just going to increase in 2023. Okay, some merchants only accepting cash, obviously that's decreased, and other things as well. Okay, share of respondents by cash use intensity. There's mobile access, so as you can see, majority of people. Uh, have mobile access, nearly 100% for low cash users. High cash users, yeah, because a lot of them are over 65, they probably don't have the internet. So accessing cash, yeah, okay, withdrawal, convenient, con deposits, convenient, inconvenient, so this is at least the majority. Just find it uh, convenient to access cash. So, and then you've got a lot of other things, you know. Yeah, so that's basically cash, you know, bank notes in, in the wallet. Okay, here, this is good. So, as you can see, we have the 5, 10, 20, 50, and 100. What do you see here? I see, well, the $10 seems to be stagnant. $20, yeah, might have declined a little bit, but not really. Uh, the biggest increase I see is $50. So a lot more people have $50 banknotes in their wallets. So they're actually keeping them. And $5 seems to have been decreased. Uh, $100 did increase, uh, but it seems to have declined. So... The value of banknotes that they have, well, fifty dollars will make up at least thirty to forty percent. So if we look up there, okay, that's because ATMs they mainly dispense fifty and twenty dollars. So that's a change in the access of the banknotes. ATMs generally don't dispense five and ten dollars. I think some of them used to. But they don't do now and some do dispense hundred dollars but obviously if you want to get a lot of hundred dollar bank notes you need to go into the bank okay value of cash outside wallets okay so majority of people pretty much had uh zero dollars and as you can see, 100 to 1,000 had the highest actual values. So, cash. Why hold cash? Emergency transactions. That seems to be the highest value. Um, 
large purchases, not really. Okay, withdrawal times, fees and access, yeah. And as you can see, uh, majority of them just for um, emergency transactions. Okay, and then you've got the conclusion. So if we look at banknotes in circulation, you can see banknotes in circulation every year. So year and year growth, it's pretty steady. During the pandemic, there was a huge growth in banknotes. So a lot of those would have been $50 banknotes. Uh, but that seems to have been declining. That everything has gone back to normal. And as you can see, during the GFC, we had a big increase in the, uh, well, in banknotes. But then it declined. And that's what we saw here. So during times of problems, people go to banknotes. Uh, but then they switch back to normal levels. Okay, return rate. So this is just banks, banknotes uh, to be destroyed. And the average for 2009, 2018. So majority of this would have been, uh, if you look at the graphs, probably before, uh, well, definitely before 2018, as you can see, uh, there's been a big drop off. So, banknote returns to banks and the RBA to be destroyed has definitely decreased. And as you can see, 2021 to 22 has the lowest value. So, that's very interesting. And we can see the banknotes in circulation. So, down below the 10 year average. And what you can see is 40 $50 banknotes has been a growth of, from 6.7 to 7.4. But $4 to $5 has been a decrease of at least half, over half, 3.7 to 1.6. And you can see the $20 doubled, over doubled, 2.5, 5.9. So these would actually reflect uh, the increase in ATM usage. We've even though there's a lot less ATMs, banks are trying to uh, force people onto online payments uh, by getting rid of ATMs. And as you can see, hundred dollars is uh, pretty much the same. So, and here we have the next generation banknotes. So they're the new ones. Uh, so in what's uh, 2022, they had about. 70% of banknotes of the 5 and $10 were next generation. I would say that's nearly 100% now. I haven't seen any 5 or $10 of the old series uh, in circulation. Uh, the $20 still quite, see quite a lot, so probably about half. So that was at 35%. The $50 was at about 43%. I still see quite a lot of banknotes, and I'm not too sure about the $100, because I very rarely scared them. The only time uh, we got a bunch of $100 banknotes, we don't have them now, is when we uh, got, my wife got a lot of them from Hong Kong, I won't say the value, but a majority of them were the old series, so that's, so about 70% were the old series, so obviously, the older $100 banknotes are still quite common. Okay, and then you've got some information. Okay, and damaged banknotes, maybe I'll do a counterfeit. So these are damaged banknotes. These are ones that seem to be destroyed, as you can see. Uh, they're not very, very good. And they've got counterfeits. Well, Australia doesn't have that many counterfeit banknotes, not compared to other countries. Okay, and if you want to, you look at serial numbers. Uh, and your reports. So, if you want to look at the coins in usage, so I'll do this for a another video. So, anyway, hope this helps you if you're banking and uh, coin collecting. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure on what effect this is going to have on coin collecting. Obviously, banknote usage has been decreasing uh, for the past ten years or more pretty much uh, but coin collecting as a hobby has actually increased 
definitely during the pandemic. Now it's probably gone down a bit. And with the you know releases from Woolworths, uh, and other places, uh, they seem to have uh, made it a little bit more popular. The Royal Australian Post uh, doesn't seem to have uh, increased much enthusiasm in people's purpose of collecting. So let me know what you think down below. I think at the meantime it's not going to have an effect, but in the long term it probably will. Thank you and goodbye.